So it's always exciting when you start seeing the foundation come together. And we did a previous video where we talked about some of the nuances at the point where we had footings dug. Now we've moved on. We have our footings placed. We have our stem walls going up. And I thought that it would be a great opportunity to quickly review the steps that it takes to get to a finished slab. Let's get to it. So step one is gonna be our pad certification. Now, if you wanna reference a more detailed video that talks about the overall process to be able to get a certified pad, please go check out some of our previous episodes. But ultimately we need a certified pad from a geotechnical engineer before we ever put a shovel in the ground for our foundation. The second item is using this little beauty here, which is a little survey tassel that allows us to be able to indicate exactly where our building corners are. Now, since we have a civil engineer of record that's required on all of our projects for our new grading and drainage plan when it comes to new construction, it makes it really easy because typically they're taking care of the initial property survey, the building survey, the grading and drainage plan, which they have to come back and certify that everything was built as it was designed, which is called as built. And so it's crucial to get them involved from the very beginning to make sure that our building is placed in the exact position that it was intended to be within the architectural design sets. So with those building corners in place, the third step is gonna be excavation. But prior to excavation, we're typically gonna have our concrete company either pin or do batter boards that allow us to be able to ensure that we have straight lines after excavation takes place. Excavation is typically only a day or two, and we're typically gonna excavate with a bucket that's just slightly larger than the overall determined width of our footing to be able to make sure that we meet the minimum requirements that are included within our structural engineering set. Our fourth step after excavation is gonna be setting all of our rebar according to our engineering spec. Feel free to check out one of our previous episodes where we talk about the overall rebar details and specifically the different depths of footings that are required for us to be able to meet the structural requirements for this beautiful custom home. Once that rebar is in place, we we're able to have the luxury of pouring our footings last week, getting those secure over the weekend, and starting to set panels this week in anticipation for our engineering team to come out and verify the exact corners once more so that we can be able to get our epoxy anchors into our footing for our HDUs that are required in this home to be attached all the way through the footing up to the stem wall which will help us to attach our framing members and the overall structure of the home to our foundation, which is the step that we're currently at. As soon as we have that engineer come out and verify the exact location of where our anchors will have to go in place, we'll get those epoxy set, inspected as required, and then we'll go ahead and we'll complete our forms and get this thing ready to be able to pour our stem at the appropriate height to our finished floor elevation. Upon completion of, of our epoxy anchors set in the footings, we'll be able to finish up our stem walls by forming the inside board, setting up for placement of concrete, and ensuring that we're at the benchmark height for our finished floor elevation. Upon completion of our epoxy anchors, we'll move to step seven, which is getting our form boards completed and getting our stem wall in place. Upon completion of these crucial steps, we'll move forward with our underground plumbing now that we have a stem wall to measure off of to ensure that we have all of our underground waste connected to city sewer appropriately, and then we'll go ahead and we'll finish things off with step eight for concrete, which is gonna be getting our termite free treat prior to placing our final slab. Stay tuned for more details as we continue to place this foundation over the course of the next couple weeks. And as always, have a great day.